Thank you, Jesse. Just to confirm, you can hear and see my slides. We certainly can. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm delighted to to be able to present this on behalf of my colleagues um, from the London School of Tropical Hygiene, uh, Queen Mary and Imperial College, um, including the chief investigator of the Ascot trial, Peter Sever. I've got no conflicts of interest to declare. So when we look at observational cohort studies, we see an association with higher midlife stroke risk factors and an increased dementia risk. However, we know that cohort studies can be confounded by um, factors such as uh, that associate with vascular risk, such as lower education, which also puts people at a higher risk of dementia. However, they do follow people up until the time of highest dementia risk. However, when we look at the short-term follow-up of randomized controlled trials of LDL cholesterol lowering or blood pressure lowering, we only see a neutral or modest effect on dementia incidence. But as you can see in the figure, we only follow up people for a relatively short time and often not into the years when dementia incidence is the highest. So what we sought to do in this study was to, to follow up a randomized trial in the, in the long term into the ages when dementia incidence is the highest, where we might hope to see a greater effect. So we're looking at randomization in late middle life and following up patients for 20 years into their old age. And the trial that we're looking at is the Anglo-Scandinavian Cardiac Outcomes Trial. So this was a large randomized control trial in three, country, in three areas in the UK, Ireland and Scandinavian countries between 1998 and 2002 and recruited patients, participants with high blood pressure three or more vascular risk factors, so no coronary heart disease. And they were randomly allocated in a two by two factorial design. So the largest trial compared an amlodipine based versus a atenolol based blood pressure lowering regimen. That's amlodipine in addition to perindoprol or atenolol or if needed a thiazide diuretic. And at the end of the trial, the blood pressure difference was three over two millimeter, three over two millimeters of mercury, so relatively low that there was a lower visit-to-visit -visit blood pressure variability in participants in the amlodipine arm. And that trial stopped after five and a half years. The trial nested within the blood pressure trial. Uh, there was also a comparison of a torvastatin versus placebo if participants' cholesterol was less than six and a half. That led to a one millimole, to, one millimole per litre difference in LDL cholesterol and that trial stopped at 3.3 years because of overwhelming benefit on myocardial infarction. We can see the effect on stroke and the two cumulative incidence curves at the bottom of the slide. On your left, you'll see uh, the atorvastatin versus placebo comparison led to a statistically significant 27% reduction in the incidence of all stroke. And on the right, the cumulative incidence curve of amlodipine versus etanol based regimes a amlodipine based regime significantly reducing the incidence of stroke by 23%. So what we're aiming to do here is to estimate the effect of long-term incidence of stroke and dementia of a torvastatin or placebo or an amlodipine based or an based regimen. I'm also going to report some observational associations using the trial as a cohort with baseline mean total cholesterol, mean blood pressure, and blood pressure variability with later incidence of dementia. How did we ascertain stroke and dementia in this study? Well, in these UK participants, a subset of a whole trial, we detected stroke using trial-specific mechanisms, but we were also able to take advantage of the fact that our part these participants in the United Kingdom had given permission for linkage of their health identifiers to national trials health records. They were linked to death records, general hospitalizations, mental health records, and in Scotland, prescriptions and stroke, a stroke audit. We defined the outcomes of all stroke and all dementia using standardized code lists in national records, uh, as has previously been done in large studies like the UK Biobank. 
And the codes that we used for stroke, the code list had a positive predictive value of a stroke diagnosis of somewhere between 85 and 90 percent. And our code list for dementia had a positive predictive value for a dementia diagnosis of somewhere between 82 and 85 percent. And the essays I'm going to present today have a time to first all stroke in stroke analyses and time to recorded dementia in dementia analyses. I'm not going to talk about any sub subtypes. We censor the participants at the date of death or at the date of linkage, or if the participant hadn't given consent to linkage at the uh, end of trial. And we analysed our participants in the allocated groups. So the whole ASCOT trial within the three nations was uh, 19,300, roughly 19,300 participants, and the UK participants were 8,580 of those. 7,880 participants were alive at the end of trial, of whom 7,300 gave permission to long-term linkage, but we used all the data we collected on these patients, both within and without the trial. The participants were well balanced between the allocated groups. They were mostly men, because male sex was a, uh, considered a vascular risk factor at recruitment, and they were pretty much all of European ancestry. And at baseline, they had a slightly higher blood pressure, 162 millimeters of mercury, and a diastolic blood pressure of 92 millimeters of mercury, and a total cholesterol of about 5.9 millimeters per liter. So let's now look at the effect of the torvastatin or placebo allocation in the UK population. So we found no evidence that the allocation of the torvastatin for 3.3 years had any legacy effect on later recorded stroke or dementia and follow-up. So on the left we have the results from stroke. Uh, can anyone see my slides? Can you see my slides, I hope? Is everyone still seeing my slides? Yeah, yeah, your slides are, uh, are on. You can continue. Yeah. Yeah. We can see your slides. So um, there was a, a there, there was an eight percent reduction in stroke, not significant eight percent reduction in all stroke over the period of follow up, where we'd analysed up to the end of twenty years, and there was no reduction in the incidence of dementia by the time we got to twenty years. There was no interaction between the torvastatin arms or the blood pressure arms. I think it's worth noting here the difference in shape of these curves. So on the left, you have a roughly linear increase in stroke incidence over time. On the right, you've got a more exponential curve in dementia incidence over time, telling us something uh, that the epidemiology of both these conditions is rather different. Let's now look at the effect of an amlodipine based or antenolol based regimen in UK participants over 20 years of follow up. So the amlodipine based regimen uh, for five and a half years led to about an 18% reduction in the recorded stroke over follow-up, but we didn't see any reduction in dementia incidence. So the adjusted hazard ratio for stroke demonstrated an 18% relative reduction in stroke incidence, which is highly statistically significant, 443 strokes in the amlodipine based arm and 552 in the terminal based arm. But we didn't see any significant reduction in dementia incidence by the end of study, 450 dementia cases in the amlodipine arm and 465 in the atenolol arm. There was an unexplained significant interaction between higher baseline total cholesterol and greater reduction in stroke incidence with allocation to amlodipine over those 20 years of follow-up. We also used the trial as an observational cohort given that we had a large number of dementia cases and detailed measurement of vascular risk at baseline. So here we can see that the mean total cholesterol was not associated with a higher dementia incidence at 20 years, nor mean blood pressure at baseline. However, there was a suggestion in both analyses of reverse causality. That's to say that when we increase the time between measurement and dementia incidence uh, to longer periods, there, there was a suggestion of an association. However, there was a statistically a significant association with gr between greater blood pressure variability and increased dementia incidence, even after adjustment for mean blood pressure, which is consistent with other observational studies. 
To show that our, our, our cohort uh, produced sensible results, we found that stroke within follow-up uh, was associated with an increased dementia risk, increasing the odds of a dementia diagnosis roughly doubling um, with a 67% adjusted increase in dementia, uh, the odds of dementia adjusting for baseline factors such as age, gender uh, and other classical risk factors. So in summary, we found a long-term legacy effect of 3.3 years of atorvastatin statin allocation on recorded stroke or dementia. Blood pressure management with an amlodipine-based rather than a tenolol-based regimen for five and a half years led to a modest and sustained reduction in recorded stroke over long-term follow-up, but no detectable change in recorded dementia. The greater blood pressure variability was associated with a greater dementia incidence. What does this imply? Well, I think it implies that better management of stroke risk factors for any short periods in late midlife probably don't reduce dementia incidence, but we definitely need more evidence on prolonged management and in the old and the frail. Earlier blood pressure management still, effect, has, still has a detectable effect on stroke incidence 20 years later, so there's no reason to delay blood pressure. Low randomized trials into electronic health records is financially and statistically efficient with a large number of cases, and it allows us to affect the long term effects of treatments in a new way. Lastly, I'd like to thank the funders of my work, uh, and if you're unable to ask a question in the end, just uh, please contact me through Twitter and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you very much. <laughs>